Chattanooga nonprofit director charged with helping gang members and offenders turn their lives around is now the subject of a police investigation himself. Richard Bennett is facing drug charges. A city spokesperson told us they are disappointed with Bennett's actions and they have halted his involvement with Chattanooga's Violence Reduction Initiative. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is learning what this means for the program. Jerry. That's right, Kim and Kevin. Bennett has bonded off the Hamilton County Jail. His nonprofit is called A Better Tomorrow, but its future is up in the air. We're tired of seeing young black men die and go to prison. That's Richard Bennett speaking to us back in March about his plans to reduce crime in Chattanooga. Now he faces drug charges, and those who know his work are concerned about the future of the men he was trying to help. I think the mistake that he made that he would regret it, and we need people out here like him, though. We really do. Skip Eberhardt says Bennett had turned his life around and was helping gang members turn their lives around. Friday night, police found an open bottle of Patron and a small portion of marijuana in Bennett's car near Eastlake Park. They also found hydro pills with no prescription, according to court records. Eberhardt says Bennett deserves a second chance and says the city needs him to bridge the gap. He was involved in gang members, especially the ones that was reaching out, he was always there for him. So in the community, I think he did make a, he's making a big uh, change. Since March, Bennett's have been working on the city's violence reduction initiative. But after his weekend arrest, the city is parting ways. City Councilman Larry Grone, who knows Bennett well, says the city is moving way too fast. He's been convicted without even having appeared for a first hearing in court, without being able to present his side of the story. So I have issues when anyone is treated like that. Councilman Moses Freeman, on the other hand, says Bennett's actions are unacceptable. We can't tolerate criminal activity or misbehaving of that type in a position of that nature. And Bennett, who has no prior criminal record, will appear in court on July 1st. He's also running for the Hamilton County School Board District 5 seat. I went by his nonprofit today just trying to get reaction about his arrest. He wasn't there. When I called him by phone, he told me he had no comment.